Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to give you a heads up for another point and click adventure game called Signal and Echo in which you play a young reporter. First day on the job as you investigate a missing girl case. So that's a great premise and it's, it's just a great plot. You know, who done it? What is going on? A missing girl. It feels like police quest all over again. I love those investigative games. Uh, this is a point and click adventure game. Obviously, the graphics are very old school. This is pretty basic stuff to look at. Uh, colorful EGA kind of graphics, but uh, kind of crude looking. In my eyes, great as I grew up on these games. Uh, they looked like this back in the 80s. And uh, I played a lot of Space Quest, Police Quests, all these share adventure games. And this is up my alley. Uh, some other people might find pixel art uh, somewhat disappointing looking, but I, you know, I like this type of games. So you go around to various places, talking to characters, following a paper trail of clues, pun intended. The dialogue is fine. It's not too much information. Uh, the game does have a user interface. It's a little different. On one hand, you get the the icons for talking, using and looking, using the mouse. So you point on the screen, you sort of uh, switch between the different icons with the right mouse and then select the one you want. But on the other hand, there's also a type in interface uh, where you have to use specific words during dialogue or when you're using a computer to get new clues, which is pretty much like the old Sierra adventure games where you have to type in the commands yourself. I have mixed feelings about this in a game. On one hand, it's sort of a puzzle in itself to find out what word you need to be using in a, a certain situation. Uh, and on the other hand, it's kind of frustrating um, because there is a reason why this mechanic got out of fashion, uh, because it was just confusing. And it, it just, it's, a, it's sort of a barrier between the player and the game. Uh, to, to hinder you in, in progression, so to speak. And uh, just to give you a little example of this, uh, so I went to this little shop called Chippy, and I talked to the owner, and I got uh, most of the information out of the dialogue. But then I got it kind of got stuck. I didn't know what to do uh, until I saw this um, this camera hanging uh, in the in the shop. So I was thinking, okay, I need to I need to get the camera footage, which was the right thing to do. So I put in the word camera, right? Which was to me the most obvious word, but the, the guy didn't respond to that. So it was not the right command until I, I put in the words uh, CCTV or something, because that's what the camera was also called. It's something like that. And I put in that word and then the owner said, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can have the footage of the, of the camera, of the security camera. So, Hey, there is this this chance of getting stuck when you're not using the right word because some, sometimes there's more words to a thing and it's not the word that the programmer thought you would use as, as a gamer. So I'm not sure about the input feature of putting in commands, typing them in. Um, also for people who are not good at English, this might be a problem. Also, I'm not really sure how to remedy this situation. I mean, um, maybe if, if the game gave me some multiple choices or, or dialogue options to talk about so that you can unlock the information, because uh, guessing a word isn't always the best way. But besides that, this is shaping up to be an interesting point and click adventure game. It has the style that I really like. It has some nice musical tunes. The situations you get into are clever, the puzzles, so to speak, and they make sense given the circumstances. Also, there is a handy recap function. So when you've talked to a character, you can sort of recap the dialogue and know what was talked about. Uh, also, you can go back to your colleague and ask for help. So there are multiple ways to get out of a sticky situation, so to speak. So yeah, this looks very promising. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Oh, and check out the demo. You can get the demo of this game, I think on Steam. Anyway, see you next time.